Mike and Press uh, and uh, other participants. We welcome all the participants, the dignitaries. The delegates from India and abroad. Before moving to the press conference, in a structured manner, I would like to give a brief about the Indian Road Congress. <coughs> Indian Road Congress was set up. In the year 1934, and its first session was held at New Delhi. During its last 78 years of journey, from pre-independence to post-independence, it has fulfilled the role of bringing the guidelines, the code of practices, the specifications for all categories of roads, right from rural roads to expressways. Today, it has about 15,200 members from India and abroad which includes the associate members representing the private sector entities, the research organizations, the individual researchers, the government department officers, the public sector department officers, the consultants, the contractors, the consultants, almost all category of the stakeholders in the road sector. <laughs> the annual sessions of the Indian Road Congress are conducted in association with the state governments. And the next session, the 74th, will be held at Wadi on the invitation of the government of the South. This session, the 73rd session, is unique in number of ways. It is giving a platform for the educational institutions, the college students to participate in the IRC session. Up till now it was not open to them. And we are coming and presenting their research work, the NTAC and the research students. And for the first time, IRC is running three parallel technical sessions. One session is also devoted to innovative techniques and technology, method, method and methodologies adopted by various organizations, which can be so, showcased by them so that the other organizations can replicate. This is a unique step. To allow the innovators a platform to demonstrate <coughs> the practical acceptability of their innovations. 
In addition, there will be first ever presentation by World Bank Global Road Safety Fund about the initiatives they will be taking in the road safety area in this country. So far they have not invested in this country. On the sideline of this session, there will be 10th working group meeting of India French working group in the road transport sector. French delegation is already here. There will be a meeting of all the chief engineers, engineer chiefs of the state PWDs to discuss the way forward in the highway sector. In this session, we are also associating some of the NGOs of Tamil Nadu to give them a national platform that is the one of them is the very popular NGO Traffic Modern Association which is a unique in nature and they are doing a lot of work in the road safety. To allow the participants to have maintain their good health routine free yoga classes will also be held in the morning 6 to 7 and in the cultural programs in the evening starting from 8 onwards all programs will be based on South Indian cultural strength. It will not be a mix of other areas cultures, only South Indian culture, so that the participants take back home the field and taste of South Indian culture. With this words, I again welcome all the friends from India and uh, may I now request Director General and Special Secretary to come to the committee to say a few words. As well as I request him if he can give a brief uh, presentation on new things. So it will be the press media friends may like to have a feel of the things what in the wood sector we have done. So the presentation uh, is an amplification of this list and uh, with some pictures, slides, photographs of the concepts. As I had said earlier during the day, you know, Government of India has declared this decade, 2011 2020, as the decade of innovation. 
and the United Nations have declared this decade as the decade of action for democracy. So we take it that it has to be innovation and safety. Innovation and safety. Unfortunately, our country is uh, having the maximum fatalities, low fatalities in the world. 1.4 lakh per hour. And 37% of them are occurring on the national list. During this financial year, we put 10% of the plan budget for each state, 10% of the plan money for road safety works. And we are sanctioning most of them. You know, whatever is required because funding. So we want to make arrangement for funding so that road safety can be addressed. So 10% from the budget we have reserved for safety. Under that we did one transverse board markings. Initially we did different types of board markings. We have done it on uh, NH45, 3G Madurai Road and somewhere near morning body side also on the bridges. And the results are very, very encouraging. Transverse war rumblers, that is transverse rumblers. It is something like our centline marking at uh, white, that white uh, centline marking we have seen, reflecting paint, that we put across the and now, based on whatever we have done at those places, what we find on now Trichy Road, Chennai Trichy Road is that on three months before and three months after, the accident, number of accidents have come down. The intensity of accidents, that is the, the, the injuries have come down and the fatalities have come down. And on the other side, one of the newspaper report they have also confirmed that accidents have completely stopped. So probably a simple measure like putting the white reflecting lines across the board. And now we have come up with the policy circular, the guidelines, how to do them. Three lines, three lines, three lines like that, and then two lines, two lines, two lines, and then one line, one line like that. Even if you put a road side, sign road, saying that accident road spot goes low, whatever. If a vehicle is overtaking another vehicle, he may miss to see the sign road. But if it is put on the road, across the road, whenever he travels, he cannot miss it. And once the people come to know that this type of uh, three lines, and after a gap, another three lines, after a gap, this type of thing, wherever it is there, once they come to know that this is an alert for them, it gives a rumbling also, rumbling sound. Probably we hope to with this type of arrangement at uh, wherever accident phone spots are there. This simple Jugard solution is going to bring down the accident rate. We have brought out a policy and then we will further fine tune that policy circle based on further big observations. Another thing what we are planning is crash barriers. Recently there was a news report that one bus rolled down on the OT road. You know, probably if there had been a crash barrier, there had been a crash barrier that would have saved the lives of those people. We are under this 10% plan funds under the safety. This financial onwards, we have started putting cash barriers, sanctioning cash barriers in many locations. It is a dedicated 10% funding. But we have to put at so many places. So many places and that too if you can put it quickly. That will save a lot of lives.
So road safety is somehow we have to approach, not as a technical or financial problem, but as an emotional problem. What happens if, uh, your brother, if I lose a brother or sister? So each one of the highway engineers, we will be thinking, we should be thinking, and then all the stakeholders also should think on those lines. So how do I get the necessary funding, adequate funding, so that all the crash barriers can be put wherever it is available? Crash barriers are required on hill roads on the valley side, on high embankments like flyovers, or railway bridge approaches, road bridge approaches. Third location is on the outside of horizontal curves. People come very fast and go straight. So on the outside of horizontal curves and where there are open pond or lakes by the side of the road, we can go into that. So we are focusing on these four locations first and we are trying to tap or we are trying to involve the stakeholders. Such locations will require minimum 300 meters of the cash barriers. The cost is going to be about 10 lakhs. Some of the corporates have already promised yes, we will fund it. So, why should they fund it? Can it be a win win situation? Suppose, can I allow small advertisement, that is, company name or the product name or the logo of the company? Each 100 meter only one for the centimeter width. And suppose I permit them for two years, the facility comes in place. What is it in what is in it for the corporates? They have advertisement budget. They put the advertisements next to our roads in the private property. We are not able to control them. Suppose we allow them a legal way of putting the advertisements on the crash barriers. Even if it is reflective at night, it is not going to... The driver sees the reflective advertisement, he gets alerted. So instead of working as a distraction for the driver, it is going to be an alert for the driver. The small advertisement, even if it is reflective. Company name, or logo or the products name. So we are trying to test the reaction with an experimental pilot project. Same way there is a crash cushion. Crash cushion. If you see in this uh, picture, the right side bottom, that is the crash cushion. The locations like this, in locations like this, we have to provide crash cushions. But unfortunately, because of lack of funds, we are not able to provide all these locations. And if I can permit, next slide. If I can permit on the sides the name, company name or logo, like this. So this is what we are trying to achieve. We are permitting, we are giving a facility, we are giving an opportunity for the corporates. It can be your newspaper sponsors. You want to put to your newspaper also. Not for, may not be for advertisement, at least for propagating this idea and taking the lead and motivating others. I am looking forward to this press meeting and to this IRC conference. The message should reach that we are trying to give them an opportunity to all the stakeholders. Yesterday there was a, I, I was meeting the Rotary Governor, District Governor. 
and here say they have a lot of programs. One of the things is somebody is uh, offering on the road in Kobe to for morning walkers to seek a bench. It's offered. Very good. A social cause. Same way I expect the moment the government of India, state governments, they, they allow, permit, give an opportunity for the stakeholders to participate in this uh, fight or war against fatalities, road fatalities, crash fatalities. That is going to bring down the cost. So crash barriers and crash cushions. These we are opening it up for the stakeholders. There are some manufacturers who are putting these stalls here. You can see those stalls. And there are chambers of commerce and others have also been invited. They will also be seeing it. Whoever is planning to participate, they are welcome. You are giving them an opportunity and it is going to be a win-win situation. This is a year median company where a solar light is coming. When somebody is driving and then when he sees the lighted area, then he gets elected, there is something in the <coughs> This has been trained on MH45, Salem Road, by MH. And their experience is, this is reducing the accidents. Cost will be a couple of lakhs for this. In between medians, you can put the light in the, the solar light. This will be 2 lakhs, crash barrier will be 10 lakhs, crash cushion, there are different types, we will be telling you. And it can go up to even 40 lakhs, it depends. It depends on the type of PT. Even if go, our government says if we have to put something, we have will be going for the cheapest option. But a stakeholder who wants to put it, he can go for the best option. A new material which we feel that probably may not be as cost effective. The stakeholder may use it and then we learn by that experience, yes, it is low, it is cost effective. Maybe it initially to be costly, but subsequently on the life of that, uh, uh, what we have put in, it is cost effective. This is what editorial about the public toilets. Next slide, please. It is something interesting. Local body should compel all road building and city projects to allocate space for this purpose for providing toilets. Why we are not providing toilets? I am not. I am also at fault for rural uh, national areas. Also, I am not providing. We are rectifying it. We are coming up with it. We already issued a policy statement. We are trying to provide that. And what it says is they could also try innovative schemes such as the one practiced in the UK where the government pays private establishments to keep their toilets open for public use. Can we do it in Kwaimutu? There are public officers, commercial officers, they have their toilets for their public, near their staff. If they make it open for the public, what happens? Government can give them some tax rebate or whatever or as in UK can be. Maybe it is one option, maybe we can come up with different, better options, but then it is something different, thinking different. This IOC session is going to be a different one, not the ordinary conventional, it is going to be non-conventional. Another newspaper, it says, Friends turn those who are party. It is happening in Delhi, it is happening in all cities, and it is going to happen. If not, it is happening in Coimbatore, it is going to happen in Coimbatore also. Why should it happen? We are not providing enough parking spaces. People have cars, but then they, they are not, their houses are not, the old houses, they are not having enough parking space, they park it on the road, problems are there. One of the presentations in this session is going to be an innovative car parking, automated car parking. 
where no driver needs to drive the vehicle to that parking area. Robots do it. One of the issues that the event that that uh, presenter he was we discussing with him, he was mentioning is, sir, your government policy says that uh, each floor should have so much of uh, exhaust fans to remove the air for air circulation because drivers will do it. I am coming up with the solution, a new technology, where there won't be any need for any driver to do that. In fact, no driver will be there allowed. Everything is automatic. Why do you insist that I should book so many exhaust fans? That is, for new technologies, the current existing policies are not conducive. So, IRC felt, even IRC guidelines are not permitting some of the new technologies. So, IRC felt, our president uh, and the executive committee members, they said we should try and try have all the pilot points. Maybe we may fail, maybe it may not be successful, maybe we may have to modify whatever we tried in the first attempt, we may come up with something different. The pro version. We'll call them pilot points. And IRC, in the last session, midterm session at Kohima in May, they have also cleared it. We have formed the pilot point A dozen pilot points we are planning through IRC also. And whatever policy circulars or today when I was discussing they were mentioning that the advertisements are not permitted by High Court also. Okay. But then High Court also go by a body like IRC's advice. Current policy of government of India and current policy of IRC's advertisements are not allowed on IRC. But if you say that probably in some locations advertisement may not be harmful, may not be distracted. Prove based on some pilot projects, experimental pilot projects, then the policies can be modified up to That is the idea of the pilot projects. Even though the existing extant policies don't permit, we should not be tied down by the extant policies, we should be trying new technology or allowing new technology to come up. We have to have an open mind. We, we call it a pilot point or experimental point. Same crash question. There are three, four types of crash questions. Which is the best one? I don't know. Which is the best one for our country? I don't know. So unless we try that, there is no specification for that. We will try that. There is stakeholders coming to great help for the government. They are not bound by the least cost, lowest tender. They will say, I have seen it in other countries, I want to put it, I have lost somebody in my family, I want, instead of putting a monument for them, I put a crash barrier for them, I put a crash cushion in their memory. Maybe that can happen. And we become wiser. So, this crash cushions, another one is, in Koyamoto, we are planning a, a skywalk, like in Mumbai. We are trying to, there is one uh, presentation in the forthcoming session about uh, the sky walks in Delhi, how we can do it. And Tamil Nadu, we have sanctioned from the 10% uh, safety provision in the annual plan. One pathway, that is in a rural area, Uttar Chatram to Padani. You know what happens, you, you, you know that uh, uh, so many pilgrims walk to the Padali temple and because of the heat they try to walk, they walk usually at night and they don't walk on the right side, they walk on the left side because right side they walk that headlight lamp which is affecting them, they walk on the left side. During the festival time, police order of the national railway, one lane of the national railway, they take over, police control the traffic. Everybody knows there's so many people are walking one way or the other, so there are no accidents are not much. Accidents are going to take But the people who walk even before and after in groups and the drivers are not aware and a lot of accidents are taking place. Why should they walk up the road? We are not making available a suitable walking space. Okay. 
but at the beginning, even village to village, you see people, school children walking from school to their village, the same and that side. There is no provision. So we have started that pathways also behind the tree line, behind the tree line, so that they have that safety, comfort, and a proper path to walk. The third one is the pathway, which is the parking space, which I have already mentioned. Maybe something can come up in Coimbatore also. Our Coimbatore, our worshipful mayor, he is also very key. He says about three locations, maybe it can come up. The last one is the rest. Uh, research and test features that we are be trying new material within our RW we will divert the entire traffic on the uh, uh, see we have a 30 meter right of the land width uh, our road is 12 meters so this side 9 meters this side 9 meters we have we will have a smooth transition close the existing road divert the traffic on that road which is built with emerging materials new technology See how it functions. After that, this becomes a lay by the toilet facilities and all that. We try to put it at a number of places. Initially, the new materials, there are a lot of stalls. They have uh, they are also exhibiting their product, which are additives. With those additives, with the local materials, we don't have to use as much of stone aggregates. So, we save on stone aggregates, natural resources known to friendly and then we divert the traffic, test the material for its efficacy, durability, whether it is long lasting. And then it is not going to be waste, we will use the use it as rest and toilets. So there also we would like to have private participation. A corporate or if they don't come, we will be open wedding with you. We will be providing toilet facilities there also. When you have to cross the road, under the road can be having shopping complex. I am sorry this figure is not very clear. A shopping complex under the, at the junction under the road. So these shopkeepers are there up to maybe 11 pm with lights and all that, safety, security, user. people are comfortable to get down, walk through that. Next slide. These are the required projects what IRC is concerned. This is the skywalk in Mumbai. We will make it advertisement based and in a better way also. We can always keep improving architecturally. This is the thing. Next one. This is more and more. Next. With escalators and all that. Crossing the road. Next. This is an architect's uh, impression how to cross through an escalator and commercial complex funding that facility at no cost to government crossing a railway track can cross the road also. Can we allow construction of multi-story buildings, commercial complexes above these pedestrian crossings across the road? This is one thing we are deliberating, whether it is possible. In that case, no tax base money can need be put. The private people who own those commercial complexes will maintain this escalator and the foot over bridge, as we call it, to cross the road. Pedestrian safety increases at no cost to government without using the taxpayers. Next one. This is one impression you know, they were planning for you know, your, as a pirate project in China, where they are having a mono, they are planning a mono. In that case, it has to be at second level. That is what is shown. And above that pedestrian crossing, multi store buildings. And those multi store that buildings, that commercial or uh, residential, whatever it is, funds the crossing and funds the maintenance of the escalators. So that you don't have to climb 500 meters old people or even for us. It becomes a convenient way of crossing the road. Can, there can be a mall above that road also. That is, uh, you are trying to use the sky estate, the sky estate above the road. Why should we keep the road up to the sky free? No? free. Maybe at some locations where we need to cross the road, where the government side or local authorities don't have budget, sufficient budget, we can provide these, we can provide toilet facilities, some sort of this, public toilets, ensure the maintenance through the operation of these, you know, through these uh, uh, buildings. Next 
is it possible to know? Whenever we talk about something new, different, this is why it has been tried in any country, anywhere else. Why should it be tried in anywhere else? We will try it, we will show them. India is the, now the leading in PPP. We have shown the world, we have maximum number of people employed. Currently, uh, the, the, there is some downturn, but then it will again pick up. Private efficiency, private enterprise is the best to ensure whatever facilities are required for our country. In Tokyo Expressway, they formed uh, in 1951, the Tokyo Municipal Authorities, they didn't have sufficient funds. So 23 business leaders set up the Tokyo Expressway Company. They built an elevated expressway through Gilson, the Central Commercial District, with lease buildings under the expressway at no cost to government and it is toll free. Tokyo Expressway is toll free. Next week. This is another building, Gate Tower building in Osaka, Japan. The expressway goes through the fifth and seventh course of the building. This is the concept. Why don't we cross? Why don't we provide pedestrian crossings? Allowing multi story buildings. Katipara Junction, Chennai. Have you wasted this load? The DLF, can I, could I have put it in the uh, one of the loads? DLF. Another is a car park, multi story car park, automatic. Third one is a mall. And fourth one can be a complete residential. And connected. All these four buildings connected by skywalks. So that nobody comes in uh, conflict with the existing uh, clover leaf uh, flyover. This concept we are planning to consider for Salem. You know, Salem from five roads, it comes and crosses this Salem bypass of NHA and goes to the Salem railway station. Built up area. Suppose we provide these four loops. And whoever is willing to join with this in this in this uh, exercise, in this pilot project, we will accommodate all of them. Whoever doesn't want, we will not touch their property. The loop will become slightly bigger. The loops, four loops will become slightly bigger in that case. And the people from behind those first line of buildings will get the advantage of being in charge. The mall will have semiplexes, hot box all there, office complexes, residential complexes. The entire Salem city will come to that place for their shopping, entertainment, what not. So all the people at that junction will get benefited the moment they join in. So it is working together. Stakeholders joining with the government and the highways department, they will be, all of them will get benefited. Highways department will get the flyover free of cost, no tax money. All the people, because all of them are given a, a developed plot and commercial space, and we together with escalators and all that, with proper car parking facilities, and all the people working there having their residences close by. In the moment everybody joins together, it is a win for you. So when you are planning the Salem uh, project? Salem today I have discussed with Honorable Minister and there may be another meeting coming Friday. We have to take, talk to the people. First meeting everybody will say no. Okay. So you had uh, spoken various projects like uh, that uh, Salem. Salem, they are doing that Palani and uh, this thing and all. That Skywalk, all the various projects but you have not quoted when you are planning or anything like that. Please use the mic. Please use the mic. You had uh, mentioned various projects regarding this uh, Salem project and the uh, Palani, Palani projects. We have the time frame when you are planning for it. What is the budget for this? How do you discuss with various stakeholders on it? Palani project is doing the LH line. We have already signed it under the 10% of the land budget. Potential. What is in progress? About 500 meters they are formed. And then we have to see also people walk barefoot, 
you are putting a cloth in the blouse where they are feeling comfortable and then you have to go on in the extended part. What is already in progress? It will be completed within uh, one and a half years. It will be completed within one and a half years. One stretch. And based on that feedback, because it's a pilot point, we don't have any specifications. So we will, you are trying these specifications and then IRC will formulate it. So far, IRC formulates the guidelines and then we take up the work. So we have this executive committee and the IRC council as I said in Kohima. Yeah, they said, okay, let us, five points let us try, which may be, which may not be following the existing guidelines of IRC. Let us try it and then bring out the guidelines. What is the time frame for these 12 projects? For the... 12 pilot projects. You said about the desert pilot projects. Yes. What is the time frame? As I said, uh, these pilot projects in May in the Kohima Indian Roads Congress, they have uh, said go ahead with these pilot projects, committees. And then we are formed the committees, we are brainstorming. One of the professors of uh, School of Planning and Architecture is giving a presentation on Skywalk, first step. Another, another one is, unfortunately, it will not be done. That is the uh, monorail slide direction, that is in Chennai. Unfortunately, it has not reached the stage of uh, the presentation for deliberations. So I can't give you a definite time frame, but we have started the process. We have started the process of thinking differently, thinking non-conventionally, and then trying to come up with solutions. You would have seen that Jugaad, which is a primitive manner, which whatever uh, motor is there, they put it and use, the, use it as a transporting vehicle, which is derisively called Jugaad. But if you see Wikipedia, Jugaad, this is an innovative measure. Indians have done it and it is being discussed in other countries. They are trying to follow Jugaad. There is a management of costing 499 rupees, 500 rupees on Jugaad. Corporates are adopting Jugaad. That is, with under the constraints, whatever is possible, try to do something so that in, in some solution comes. Well, when you say 10% of the budget, it is 10% of the annual budget for roads is allocated for safety. So how much of private investments do you expect in a year, matching your 10% or is it above that? First of all, this 10% we made a beginning during the last financial year we took the decision and from current financial year we have taken 10% of the plan. We are sanctioning estimates and one of the estimates is the funding project. Now we are trying to yeah, come up with policies of owners so that experimentally the crash barriers can come up, experimentally the crash cushions can come up. So we are trying to open up, tap the private private side, stakeholders, allow them to participate so that they have the satisfaction they have contributed to the road safety from their advertisement budget or even from their corporate social responsibility. So how much from the private funding it will come, it is an open question. We expect that after some time, generally I feel highway is a gold mine. In energy, when I was there for North South Corridor, we just took it under uh, PPP model. At that time, this type of uh, PPP documentation, nothing was there. We put a financial constraint, bought a quality document. I was surprised. Krishnagiri Sena, a major company, they offered government 134 crores to lay four lane road and maintain it for about 18 years or so. So it was an eye opener. What we were doing earlier, we are not opened it up. We are not given that opportunity for the private people to do the facility, provide the facility of four lane. So same way with this.
Pilot Points Committee of Indian Roads Congress and from government side we are coming up with policy circular experimental. We call it experimental because after some time it may become even a year before the government. Like that 134 crores from LLT for the government of India. It may be even a year before the government. Right now we feel that probably nobody will come forward. Right now it may be first come first serve for those four, four locations. But four locations only we are opening up in each state because we don't want to, we want to test the waters, see the potential. Subsequently it is going to be a open bit. It may be revenue any. Corporates may come up saying that, okay, we will pay so much over and above the cost of this. Definitely. Even I want zero. Right, but you should have a time frame, right? You don't keep it as open. You know, road safety, there are four E's, you know. Engineering is one of them. So we try to come up with all those engineering measures. Still, if somebody is drunk or over speeding and goes and falls off the cliff. Something can be there, but our aim should be zero, zero accidents. But whatever has to be done, has to be done. And whatever support from stakeholders, it is welcome. Next slide, please. These are the pilot points what I mentioned, and I will uh, welcome the stakeholders, corporates, and even individuals to join in. Even individuals like that. Rotary and who was putting up the uh, benches for public. You know, I'll post this. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. It may look impossible initially. If you think it is not possible, it is not possible. Thank you very much. Uh, now the president of Indian Roads Congress will uh, give you a solution for public and people, not for vehicle. Because vehicle, we have done so much things by the geometry, by providing the so much infrastructure. So, for the public or users or pedestrians, it will the road will lead to safety to the public, which is our motto. And for that innovative steps are taken in the context of availability of the funds, availability of the infrastructure, availability of the support from the public, awareness of the public, and other government departments or agencies. So, not going in the deep because Pandaswami has given the presentation. If any questions from the audience uh, press, it will be likely to be addressed and we will try to resolve them or give some more hints to them. Any questions you can ask? Please do the mic. Please do the mic. 50% highness road. One line or two line, not to damage. Again, 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 road. Okay. Uh, only tender some problems, or uh, car line problems. Any one road, uh, some states of it, 10 years, 20 years guarantee road. But India. Okay.